Hi everyone, Major Frenchie, welcome. If you are a Legends Pinball Virtual Pinball Cabinet owner and you're using OTG, which is the ability to connect the uh, pinball cabinet to your PC to play VPX or FX3, well, you've noticed that the backlash cannot be used. Uh, although there is a fix for this, it's called a VIBS, the Video Input Backlash Switcher will allow you to add a back glass on the actual Legends Pinball back glass. Today, we are unboxing and installing this. Stay tuned. Before installing, I suggest you reviewing the Legends Pinball VIBS instruction manual. The link is in the description below. This is the actual VIBS board. That's the additional EDP cable that we're going to use. That's the micro switch for the button. So when playing uh, pinball tables on the Legends pinball cabinet, you will be able to take advantage of the back glass. The VIBS will be necessary if you decide to use the OTG, which is the on-the-go port, by connecting uh, HDMI to your PC. The connection is in the back because I've switched it, but typically it's on the left side on the front of the cabinet. I'm going to press the channel to switch to OTG and we're going to click OK. You can see now that you have the play field displaying your PC and I'm launching VPX. This is Back to the Future. And no back glass. Everything is working. The plunger is responsive. The buttons are also have been mapped and are working. but no back glass. And we can see here the back glass is actually on the play field under the table. So we're going to install the VIBS and make this work. So first we're going to install razor legs on the board. And we're going to open the back of the back glass. And this is what we call the signal transfer board. And I'm going to remove this ribbon, which is actually connected to the back glass. This is the additional EDP cable that we're going to use. And uh, we're going to connect the blue side up on the actual signal transfer board and we're going to push on the little black tab to close the connector. Now we're going to remove the signal transfer board and we're going to fish it in the lower portion of the cabinet and only the wire is going to stick from the top. Now we're gonna to need to mount this and I decided to use just hot glue to mount the legs. And that should hold. So now we're going to uh, put the uh, back glass ribbon cable back on the top of the VIBS board and we're going to close the black tabs 
And on the left side, it says 2MB. This is the uh, signal transfer board ribbon cable, and then it's going to be the silver side up. And we're going to close the tabs. Now we need to connect an HDMI cable to the computer that's going to be running the actual back glass of the Legends Pinball. Now we're going to install the uh, button. Uh, the button actually allows you to switch from the actual VIBS stock to the uh, OTG. So we have the cable. And we'll attach the micro switch to the uh, button. And we'll connect the uh, black wire to the ground at the bottom. And we're going to connect the red wire, which is the signal, to the straight pin on the side. This end is going to connect on the VIBS. And to switch, we're just going to press the button. We're going to put the plug back in, and you can see that the uh, power goes through the board. I would recommend getting a USB hub to connect all wires directly to your PC. Now we're going to press the channel button again, and we'll switch to OTG. And now, pressing this button, we'll switch between the stock to the OTG back glass. Clicking the button will add an additional screen in the uh, display settings. Couple of tricks to troubleshoot if you're having issues in your table folder, b2s setup.exe. Uh, we'll bring up the uh, resolution, change it to the resolution. Also, you might want to play with a different display if you're having issues. In VPX, under Preferences in the Video Graphics Options, there's a drop-down in the display section. Make sure you have the right display selected if you're having issues with the display. Um, if everything fails, just restart the computer and actually for myself it fixed all the issues and i was able to get the back glass on the actual back glass The back glass will also be available for Pinball FX3. That should be nice. And that DMD is showing on the BitPixel HV. That's it, folks. 
now I can enjoy uh, my favorite VPX and FX3 games and have a back glass, which is going to be super nice. On this note, I want to thank Ad Games for sending me this unit for review. Thank you so much. Folks, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to uh, show you how to actually use the uh, BitPixel HV, which is the DMD you saw, and how to configure it for FX3, and how to use the, the colored ROMs for VPX and display them on the BitPixel. If you have any questions, come and see us on the Discord virtual pinball chat. Lots of people, lots of room, lots of stuff to talk about. Guys, thank you for being with me. I'll see you in the next video.